Hi guys, so I'm up at the allotment and there is nobody here, yay! There's a little bit of a breeze that I'm stood under the tree because it is boiling hot already. But um, yeah, because nobody's here, I'm going to do some filming and I want to show you the monster poppy because there are loads of flowers on it. Now, let's just say my pot's looking a bit scruffy as usual, but I don't care. Um, but yeah, let me show you. Okay, so this is the strawberry bed, which I kind of wrote off this year because, um, you know, my strawberries were looking pathetic. I was going to move them, but I thought there was no point because they were so small and I thought loads had died off, which loads, I have lost loads. Um, so I just kind of left it to do its own thing. And actually, I've got quite a few strawberries and there's lots of flowers appearing now. It needs weeding. Um, my current bushes and gooseberry bushes. The gooseberries, I've got some on it. But the black currant bushes, for some reason, they haven't got many berries on this year. But never mind. But um, I've done a bit of uh, strimming and cutting. It's meant to be uh, no mow may. Um, but it desperately needed doing. And I thought because uh, I have got some stuff for the pollinators, I would cut the grass. Um, I think I've got a fox here. Or somebody's left a dog to poo. Anyway. This bed has got strawberries, wild garlic in here, chives, perennial onions. They might be Welsh onions or they might be Ishikura spring onions. Um, look at the comfrey. But yeah, anyway, this side is a bit rough. There's my asparagus. Um, gone wispy, but that's fine because then next year, hopefully, I can sow some of it perennial leaks but I hope you can see and it's not too bright I need to sort this bed out I need to sort this side out massively my plan is to cover it and strim it all cover it in black plastic and leave it um, some elephant garlic I've covered these because I thought oh these are my red currant and white currant bush, one of them. I won't get anything off this year because I moved it at the wrong time and didn't like it. But the other bush, it had loads of berries on it. And I thought the birds left them alone until they ripened. But I came here yesterday and noticed a significant amount of berries have gone off it. And then if you see that tree there, there's a biggest, fattest pigeon that sits in it. And I'm sure he watches me. And as soon as I go, it comes down and eats everything. But look at that. In all this greenery, how beautiful is that? It's massive. Look at the, just look at the detail. I hope you can see it. It's just absolutely amazing. Oh, that one's going to go. But it does not, I know Mr B, I'm sorry. Um, it doesn't last long at all, but oh, it is so worth it. And the bees just love it. Beautiful. Okay, so I planted some shallots in this bed here. Um, I hope you can see, I can't see anything. Um, but yeah, in this bed here, I planted some shallots last winter. They, uh, they didn't make it, so yesterday I started digging it over and I'm going to put some courgettes here. My garlic is not doing great. I fed it, I've watered it. Um, it's got rust now, so yeah, it won't last much longer. But um, I did some weeding yesterday and looked at the bulbs, and they are okay size. Um, but some of them haven't... Um, they haven't split, so I'll be digging whole bulbs of garlic. There'll just be one whole bulb, but when I pick them, I'll show you. I've planted some flowers along here. Just everything's so green at the moment. I've got no colour apart from that pop of red from the poppies. Beetroot, spring onions and lettuce. I think I've got two lettuce come up, but that's about it. But I have got some at home. These are last year's leeks and they're going to seed, so I want to collect the seed. Um, but I'm thinking um, I might put some squash or pumpkins here. I haven't decided yet. These are my caped gooseberries, looking gorgeous. 
and I've got some runner beans there in my teepee. Here is my cucumber bed. I'm going to plant some cucumbers today. And behind that poly, that little tunnel thing there, kosh tunnel, are some brassicas. And I don't know what they are. My neighbour had some spear and I put them in. I think it's purple sprouting bro broccoli. I don't know if they'll stay there. I might dig them up and move them, but I just needed to get them in the ground. They, um, they needed to be put out. This is my herb bed slash apothecary garden. Look at the chives, aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous, and the bees are loving them. Um, yeah, I've been planting all sorts in here, herbs, flowers, um, echinacea flowers, cosmos, I'm not sure what this monster is, I've got loads of thyme, I don't know what happened to my sage, it was growing lovely, and the langlock, it all died, but I've got this bit left, so hopefully I just need to weed, the bindweed has gone crazy, absolutely crazy, but it's coming along. Um, I usually have flowers all along here. Look at that, so that was my plant that was not surviving because the slugs were absolutely annihilating it. And I put that handful, uh, that little bit of um, slug pellets down, the organic slug pellets, and look at it. Look how gorgeous it is. And, and that's it. I just needed a little sprinkle to give it a, a little bit of a start. And they're still munching it, but now it's, it's big enough to... Uh, survive so that's good okay so on my new plot comfrey's gone mad um i have started to cut it down but the bees are absolutely loving that all these are my flowers apart from my egyptian walking onions planted more flowers here i've put in some mexican marigolds to see if they will help with the cooch grass bindweed and um, mare's tail. I'm not fussed about it. I don't think it will for the mare's tail, but yeah. needs a bit of water. It needs watering, doesn't it? Go down this path. So uh, I need to weed here. But these are my onions. They're doing okay. Oh, God, the eyes popped up. Um, honesty has gone to seed so I'll leave that I love collecting the seeds more onions I've put some spring onions in here um, the potatoes uh, the broad beans have got black fly on them I'm just trying to knock them off at the moment with um, water and hopefully I'll get some beans soon before they get annihilated um, a few more flowers here more potatoes Mare's tail comes up everywhere and I, I pull it up and when I turn around there's even more and um, so these have got some brassicas in here I've got kohlrabi and something else maybe cabbages or cauliflowers I can't remember the slugs have had a field day they're all in there they are and they just come out at night and eat everything. So I'm hoping soon I'll have some kohlrabi. Broad beans are oh, the most exciting thing ever. Let me show you. Look, got my first peas coming. So I will start watering this a lot more now. Um, oh, let me show you the black fly. Can you see the black fly in there? And all those red ants. They har oh, there's loads there. They harvest. They harvest the um, black fly and protect them. Naughties they are. Yeah, so peas. I'll start watering them more so they can fatten. Oh, got loads! Yay! Can you see it needs a weed? But um, oh, I've just been feeling so rubbish. I haven't had the energy to do anything. I'm going to put some more peas in here. Broad beans. Um, 
I put more peas in there and I'll leave them until they're a bit bigger and then I've got some sticks there to put to let the peas climb up them. I've got all my beans in. I was going to do three rows of beans. I cut a load of comfrey down there. That's what that is. And there was going to be another row of beans there. Um, but no, didn't germinate. I forgot to do gigantes. Completely forgot about gigantes. And um, these are cocoa beans and they didn't come to anything. So I've ended up with um, two rows of beans and a wigwam. And um, also I'll have my bush beans. So this is what I was doing yesterday and this took me all day because I was just absolutely zapped of energy. So I pulled the black plastic off and look at this, it's been down two years. That's bindweed and mare's tail. Looks something out of an alien film, doesn't it? Yeah. So I've just put the black plastic there now and hopefully I'll leave that down and cover it. I'll do the same with this. Um, I need to strim this. I'm going to strim all this and cover that in black plastic just to try and get on top of it. Remove this black plastic here and dig it. I need to dig that out. Um, yeah. But um, I'm being planting my courgette. So I've got another one to go. I stopped there because there's a massive red ant's nest. So I turned it over and hopefully by this morning they would have gone. Um, but this is going to be squash and summer squash and winter squash and pumpkins um, but some of these squash because I've got 10 of them they all germinated which is amazing so I've got four yellow courgette two multicoloured ball shaped courgettes and two patty pan no four patty pans sorry I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, maybe four patty pan then, but I don't care. So I will have loads this year. If I only get two off each one, at least I'll have more than last year. Oh, it's just so beautiful up here. So peaceful. So I've still got loads of work left to do. Oh, I did a bit of weed in here yesterday. Um, and then what I do is I just leave my weeds on the side, let the sun cook them for a couple of days, pick them up and then put them in the compost. I need to sort these compost bins out because they're just full of ants' nests. But that's fine because they make the most amazing compost. And uh, it's really fine, lovely. Love it. Yeah. So hopefully things will start growing now. I know the weeds are growing. Um, but yeah, hopefully they'll start growing. Things will grow now. So this is my courgette bed. I am growing Market Moor and Ladiva. And um, I hope I haven't made it too high. I need to put some more sticks in as it grows or string. I've run out of string. Um, so that's why I had to stop. But I've got enough room here now for six um, cucumbers because I've got six cucumbers. I have got more just starting to come through as backup now just in case. And I will put them in the middle. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to water this ground and then plant my courgettes. Because if I water them in this heat it will burn the leaves. They will not like it. So as I was saying, these are my caped gooseberries. And the first year I grew them, they grew to about five, six foot tall. They were massive. And every year I've grown them since. They just come like a, a bush. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get some taller ones this year. But they're going to flower already. So I don't know if I haven't potted them on quick enough. I don't know. Really don't know. Right, so I'm going to get to work, do some work now.
bee has got that much pollen on him. It's gone purple. It's not yellow and black, it's purple. And literally I cannot see anything guys, so I hope you can see it. So these are my cucumber plants. And um, I can't see what variety they are because Yeah, I don't even know what variety they are. I think they're Market more or the Lever. Those are the only two I grow anyway. Um, and so, I just dig a hole. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. Because can you see the roots on that? Totally ready. Now, usually, um, my cucumbers are a lot smaller than this. And I want them leaning against this way. Um, so they grow up. So I definitely, I need to get some more sticks already, don't I? But I just want to keep it off the ground. Um, and yeah, and then I just put them in and bury it up to the stem there. Um, because I don't want the stem to rot. It would rot if it was on the ground. So yeah, one in, five more to do. Okay, so all the cucumbers are in. Yay! Oh gosh, guys, this makes me so happy. Um, because of the weather and things, when it did start to get a bit warmer, still weren't growing. Um, it really panicked me and it got me quite down. And even though we're having sunny days, fact that everything's so late really really got me panicking because I thought this year was going to be the year um, that things would go better but it hasn't been a great start but now I'm seeing things growing I'm uh, I'm feeling really relieved and I'm glad I've done things a little bit later as well because it seems I've uh, I've just caught up with everybody else. I think I'd be in a, a massive like panic now if I'd done things earlier and seeing that things weren't growing. But oh so nice. The sun is shining. Oh, love it. Right, I'm gonna get on now with doing the rest of the squash. Okay, I'm just stand underneath the tree at the moment because it is so hot. Um, it's lovely, I'm not moving at all. There is not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful. Um, so here we go, I planted four courgettes here, or patty pan, whatever they are. Um, I was trying to get five in, but that's pushing it, and I don't want to push it because I've got plenty of room. Um, just make this that. So, what I've done is I've watered and then I've put bone meal, blood, fish, and bone, and chicken manure pellets on top because um, they've been in their pots a little while now. That one. Oh, which one is it? Yeah, this one's going a little bit yellow. Um, so I know it needs some food, they're running out of food. Even though the compost says it had four months feed in it, they haven't been in that compost for four months. I have potted them on and changed the compost and everything. So never mind, I've given them a feed now. And um, I've tried different things this time. So usually I put all the food underneath uh, the roots and then mound them up and um, put the courgettes on top. I mound them up because courgettes and squash don't like um, their stems getting wet and sitting in water. It makes them rot. So if I do it like this, the water runs down the little mounds away from the stem. Um, so yeah, I put the I watered and then I put the food on top. Oh, 
Look at my neighbor, hot neighbor's brassica cage. Gorgeous. It's so jealous. Amazing. I put one courgette here with the um, caped gooseberries and what I've done here is I wet the soil and I added the food to the soil, mixed it all in and then planted um, the squash on top of it and again in a mound so the water runs off. Look at my cucumbers, yay! That one. This one already is not happy. Look at it, it's gone straight away. The others are fine, but this one is not happy. So I'm glad I've got back up because I don't think that's even going to make it. I give him um, some chicken manure as a feed. I need to do the rest of them. But I'm thinking um, cucumbers, uh, they are uh, a green leafy. They have lots of vines and uh, I know vines like nitrogen but not too much otherwise I won't get any cucumbers. And then I have the other five here. So these are the three that I've already planted and that one right over there um, is the new one and this one. Hope you can see them. I can't see anything. It's so bright. My, my finger might be pointing at next door's tree or something, I don't know. I need to tie my beans in there, start in, so I didn't think they were going to make it um, at all. We're still having really cold nighttime temperatures, um, saying it's going like down to seven. Where I'm sure the nighttime temperatures should be a lot warmer than that going by the daytime temperatures. Oh, it's just beautiful up here. Beautiful. I won't be staying up here much longer now because I'm getting really tired. I'm trying to listen to my body. Um, instead of pushing myself too much, just in case I uh, don't want to not be able to come up here. So, so this black plastic now is going to stay down till at least winter. Um, maybe till next year spring next year so what i'm doing all the bindweed and the mare's tail and the weeds i'm pulling up i'm sticking under there then i'll put this black plastic down and to put some uh, slabs and hold it down and they will they will hopefully compost because i did that over here loads and um and it looks like well it's all gone down hasn't it all got broken down there's a few uh, sticks and things that haven't um, but the bulk of it has gone so that's what I'm going to do over here I need to dig this now and get the rest of the mare's tail and the bindweed out potatoes are coming along nicely. I think there was two that didn't come up. <coughs> so I've re-sown a couple of potatoes and they seem to be, there's just one that hasn't come up now, two, two maybe. These are my autumn lollipops that are coming up. I need to weed this bed desperately. There's rhubarb, not doing so great. The rhubarb over there, rhubarb there isn't doing great either. And I know what I've done. 
So I put the feed on in spring, I put the manure on in spring and either it was not, you know, it was too fresh or um, it was and too strong. So I know what I've done, I've put the manure on in spring instead of winter and so um, I think the manure is too fresh and the rhubarb just hasn't liked it whatsoever. Um, so I have to remember now, plenty of water and feed it in the winter or the autumn and not the spring. My Babington leeks, perennial leeks here. And these are my current bushes and as you can see, or can't see, there is no, there's no berries on them. None whatsoever. So... And usually these are full, oh there's some on that one, oh there's some here, and some there, a few on that one, a few gooseberries, I need to weed here, yay I've got strawberries, woohoo, right I need to start feeding them tomato feed, I think somebody suggested to make them sweeter, so I might give them some food now. It is warm today guys, yay! Um, so that was just a little tour of my scruffy plot. Lots going on, lots to do. But oh, things are starting to grow at last. This year has been quite a scary year so far because everything's so late. Everything's so late. Right, um, I'm gonna go now because I'm so hot. Um, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.